the next band coming up, Ride, of the Dutch Prue. This time last year, they were playing their debut dates here in London. A year has passed. They've released three EPs, some of which have made themselves into the top 40. They've also toured, headlined at Reading, and they have a brand new album called Nowhere in the Shops at this moment in time. Lots to talk about. Here's Ride. Well, I never listened to it for pleasure or anything like that. It's too noisy. <laughs> I don't think we've ever felt you know, that much pressure, but it was just um, the way things happened. You know? Like the, the first EP was some of the first four songs we wrote, and the second was that really. And it just kind of led on, you know, and then we thought, well, let's make an album. A few of the songs have been set for a while. Um, a few of them were written in the studio, and the rest of them were just sort of um, hanging around. Unplayed. I don't see what we do as a kind of big performance thing. You know, people mm. like expect you to sort of, I don't know, be a kind of big performing person. I mean, what's important to to us is, you know, is, is the music, and hopefully, you know, I'd like to think that what's important at the gig is what's coming out of the PA speakers, not, mm. you know, I mean, don't expect, you know, sort of kind of like jumping around and stuff, you know. I mean, we would. We just play the songs anyway. Yeah. We don't enact the songs or mm. and then maybe they want the curtain to rise before we come in or something like that. But we just play them. Mm. That's not really us, you know, we'd do it if it was us. You know, we just we just want to be natural. It's mm. like asking the happy Mondays to stand still mm. when they're performing. It's not natural for them. Mm. There's no rules. Just do what you want. EP just bef I mean before the first EP was out and then and when it was out it, it got into the charts on its own terms without having to sort of have well yeah on it or something like that and, yeah. a, and a you know a funky beat to it it was just it's just sort of it's just us and it, and it did all right
it's an out, it's an outside kind of thing. You know, success is having a lot more people, you know, following your records or whatever. I mean, you know, we keep it as an outside thing. We we're, we're just you know four people who are going to carry on, hopefully on the unaffected, which is what we're going to try and do. But um, I, I don't know. I don't see that it would totally change us or anything like that. It change it, it does change because you know the outside does change and more people know mm. who you are and on what you're about or whatever. But, but I don't see that we're going to start just going to start mucking us up. <laughs> Conscious thing to know thing, not that for us to not let each other get out of hand, you know. Because mm. every, every song and every everything we do has got to go past the other three people, you know, and it's got to be constantly like criticised by us before it, you know, goes out. So mm. um, I think that's really healthy. We've never yeah, really planned things anyway. I mean, it's. <laughs> There's never been like a big plan behind us. It's just kind of we've just done things as they sort of felt right, you know. We're not going to be rushed, hopefully, mm. for the next next year. I, I know what we're doing next year. Honestly, going on holiday. We're going to America, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah, that's it. That's something we do now. Yeah, is that we might be going to America. America, Australia. But it's after that we don't know. That was Ride. Uh, we've got to the break. Still to come, though, we've got Wedding Present, Poppin' Jays, The Pixies, Bark Market, Kath Carroll and KMF DM. Stick around. <laughs> 